Further Seems Forever released their debut album, The Moon Is Down, in 2001 on Tooth & Nail Records. Further Seems Forever's debut album is an absolute must-listen for fans of this genre. All of the instruments have very busy parts. The guitar parts are beautiful and evolving, the drums are driving and about as busy and syncopated as you can find in this genre. And the bass does an excellent job of pulling everything together. Chris Caraba's vocals soar above the busyness of the rest of the band, and despite the fact that the songs don't follow any sort of traditional verse-chorus-verse-chorus type of structure, they are extremely memorable and catchy. It actually came as somewhat of a shock to me when I read that this band didn't use a regular song structure, because I realized that it was true immediately, but I had never really noticed before because the songs flow so well. A fun fact about this band is that they are basically the mid-90s hardcore band Strong Arm with Chris Caraba of Dashboard Confessional on vocals. Strong Arm is my favorite hardcore band bar none, with Shy Halud coming in a close second, and Shai Halud also had Steve Kleesath on drums. I cannot say enough about Steve's drumming. I think he is highly underrated and easily one of the best drummers in this genre. I won't say that his drumming makes the band because everyone else is so talented as well, but it's Steve's drumming and Karaba's singing that really drew me into this album. The drums have a very jazzy element to them and that they are not very repetitive. The guitars and bass sort of hold the form together while the drums play in and around the melody in a way that complements the song without strangling it. Some songs I would consider my favorites are The Moon Is Down, Mona Shetty, New Year's Project, and Just Until Sundown. The album for me is brilliant from start to finish, and some notable moments are the build-up of New Year's Project and the climax of Just Until Sundown when Chris sings Just For The Moment, just one more time, just one more second, and we'll be just fine. This could be just, just in case it's the last time. He repeats that, and then the second time he belts out, this could be the last time, at a very clear climax point of the song. I really can't think of that many bands that sound so catchy and structured with an experimental song structure like the structures used by Further Seems Forever on this album. And they do it best on this album for sure. The Moon Is Down was Further Seems Forever's strongest release by far. And unfortunately, Chris Caraba had already left the band before this album was even released. But luckily for us, he recorded these songs before moving on to great success in Dashboard Confessional. Because this is, in my opinion, among the greatest albums of all time. Considering it came out in 2001, this band can be seen as one of the early influential monoliths of the new brand of post-hardcore, or emo, that would blow up into the mainstream about four years later, depending on who you ask. If I had to say anything negative about any of the songs, it would be that I'm not especially fond of the ending to Snowbirds and Townies, where the lyrics read, So far from your charms that I cannot bear another year in this long-forgotten beach town we once shared. Interestingly enough, this is one of the singles from the album. The vocals are just a bit grating there for my tastes, but it's still a great song. In summary, this album came out early enough to be considered a monolithic influence for the genre. The instrumentation is among the most complex and interesting you will find in all rock music, and Chris Caraba will likely surprise you with the way he ties everything together and makes this album so classic and impactful. Not that Dashboard Confessional isn't good, but the parts that Chris sings over on The Moon Is Down bring out a much more alternative and complex side to Chris's emotional chops. Check the album out and buy it if you enjoy it. It will be among my favorite albums forever. It's worth noting that Chris rejoined the band in 2012 to release another album entitled Penny Black, which is worth checking out as well, but it probably goes without saying that it's not as good as this album. The level of emotion and successful experimentation here is such that will likely never be matched again, at least not in the way Further Seems Forever did on The Moon Is Down.